What's up, baby gorgeous? Is Chrissy, tell them about our CBD sponsor. It's called 5CBD. Go to get5thc.com right now. Get5thc.com right now. This thing has helped me relax more than you can know, babe, and it's fun and it's cute. Get a free bottle of Daily Buzz gummies with your purchase. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the History Hyenas. Chrissy D, Yanni P, Happy New Year. Um, this is the last time that we'll be able to say Happy New Year because make no mistake, after this year is over, every year will be Happy Chinese New Year. Emperor uh, Biden. Yeah, that's the opposite of what it is. This has been the worst year uh, in uh, my lifetime. Because Trump lost. Right, because COVID has really kept us away from each other. I can't wait to get my paws on all of you and just give you big fat hugs. I actually touched your shoulder when I saw you today. Cuz make Did no you feel that touch on your shoulder? Here's the thing, cuz. Here's yeah. the thing. I haven't touched it's anyone. It's cuz you've had a lot of revelations lately. You know, we we've gotten so much closer, and the thing is is I'm I'm going to be fucking completely honest with you. No, be crystal I'm, clear I'm with me. I'm backed up. I'm Chrissy Cowper's glance, so you can hug me, but you better wear a poncho because I'm going to drain you and come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many minutes? Oh, we can't curse until five minutes until we get ants. No, no, but you even... We, we won't sorry, even. the Indian guy who... You know, I'm sorry. Yeah, but whatever. We're Are we going five minutes Alex. in yet? No, we're three seconds in. Sorry. It's 2019 and it's the end. And it is I mean, the it's end. 2020 and it's the end. And yeah, and we've had enough. You right? know, but 2019 was also a fucking shitty year too. Why was 2019 a shitty year? Because uh, my dad died, um, Dave got murdered, and Angelo died. Yeah, Yanni's had a tough two years. It's not great, but at least at least. Uh, oh wait, no, your baby was born in 2020. She was, born but in the seed was planted in 2019. The seed was planted, right? Because when's your baby's birthday? I don't remember when the seed was planted, but I do remember on it was a weekend where Stella got her groove back and I was ready. It, is, it the, is it the weekend when your wife sent us a picture of you naked face down in the jacuzzi because you were hammered? No, that was at my that was my uh, honeymoon. March I got married, right? That this is pre yes. you know how there is pre what is it? Not pre Christ, what is it now? Pre Oh, it's A D after on fucking uh, day. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say on the podcast to you, fuck I'm done with the cultural appropriation. Okay, it's like fuck everybody's culture. We're all one human race. Shut the fuck up with everybody's. You're culturally appropriating. Here's the truth about culture, okay? Whatever culture you have and think is your culture, fine. But guess what? Your great, 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 great grandmothers and grandfathers would be spinning in their fucking graves because whatever culture it is got raped and fucked into your race when you, your country was conquered by whatever culture you think is your culture now. So shut the fuck up. We got way bigger problems than cultural appropriation. Yeah, one of those being, is it going to be Staten Island or Long Island? It's going to be Long Island because the fucking taxes are higher, but I'm making a house that just foreclosed. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about Long Island. The taxes are like the through the roof. The taxes are high, but, you know, I'm paying to fucking have my kids in schools with Republicans, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What it is, I can't believe Venetia didn't throw something at me. <coughs> I'm just kidding around. It's a New Year's episode because it's been a wild year. You got wild COVID. Is not the, yeah, wild's not the way to... to uh, yeah, I got COVID. I was set to do Joe Rogan. I didn't do Joe Rogan. Yeah, when are you going to do Joe Rogan? I mean, we were so close. We were so fucking close. And then the I, super spreader hit you me. You know, I said, this fucking kid blew it, Rogan. Now I'm starting a podcast with Sal. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the yeah. end, even when things started going good, then we just got sideswept. I mean, cause it, we literally were at a point in March of of uh, uh, February and March of twenty uh, um, twenty, we were selling out Gramercy Theater. We were adding shows. We had shows sold out. We were getting all these deals. Everything was happening, and then fucking shut down. We didn't have equipment. We had we had. Uh, we had Mikey, shout out Mikey Emoji Face for all the work he did for us in 2020. Yes. We yeah. had Mike Emoji Face. We were doing things from a fucking Zoom. We were we were just, we didn't, you know, we were doing shit from our living rooms. And all, not to, not to the momentum stop, but I think if, if the COVID didn't happen, I mean, we may be in a fucking different tax bracket right now. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. We've... We've but, grown. We've grown during the quarantines. Yep. But the biggest, the biggest thing that happened for us right. during the quarantines, yes, is 
Binky Mike joined the squad. Binky Mike. That L- Lofi Mike fucking. We had to add a white. I yeah. mean, what can you do? Yeah, I mean. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and another thing, too, you know what's another thing besides Binky Mike coming into our life in 2020? What, I, what we don't realize is because the hyenas, we are all these eras, without COVID, we would have never created WEPA in the morning. We would WEPA not in the have... morning was from your brain. Yeah. And you said, hey, let's do a new show. And that would have never happened to think of an idea to do an everyday podcast uh, and let's on be Patreon. Honest, we wouldn't have added about 20 Gs to our fucking Patreon. Let's be crystal clear. Let's be crystal clear. Let's I be mean... crystal clear. I couldn't be getting a fucking you know, house in, on Long Island without WEPA. Yeah. So we, thank you. No, but I mean, also just all the Patreon content we started doing because of Binky. Binky had a lot of screwed in ideas too. Binky, Binky really is the key. Every great show needs a great producer. Right. That's how it is. You go with Cheers. You got Larry Charles. Yeah. You go with well, you go with Seinfeld. You got Larry Charles. Right. You go with you go with Larry ba- David, right? I don't know. Some Larry Jew. You need a Jew. You need a Jew. And the thing is, Binky's not a Jew, but he dresses like a crazy one. Yeah, he dresses like a crazy Jew. And and you know, people have called me, people have called me and said, you know, I've been in multiple situations where uh, COVID was everywhere and I haven't gotten it. I don't know why it could always happen. I don't know. I still take the precautions, but I haven't gotten it. Venetia has been in multiple situations where people have fired and she's never been fired. So Venetia, the way I dodge COVID <laughs> is the way Venetia dodges firings. Venetia is... Ne- 2020 is her year. Venetia... <laughs> Venetia has is completely safe from being fired. She's never even been on the hot seat. She's never even been on the hot seat. Venetia is just a mainstay. She just handles everything. She oversees everything. She helps Binky Mike. She, she she all the beautiful decorations you see, all the notes that Chris reads straight off of. I mean, it's all done by Venetia or whatever free intern slave she has do it for her. Yeah, whatever while it she is. she sits a fucking round and does absolutely nothing. Yeah, while she's fucking eating out young Ma's ass. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you yeah. Get, I tried. Yeah, it comes you, out. You, yeah, you, <laughs> you can't make me get lightheaded after COVID because then I may have to take a clotting. Because you're going to have to take a clotting. What would you do <laughs> for, for a clotting pin? what it is yeah so yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, so he so, out her ass and makes her sick it's what it is v- <laughs> bink's got something to say i yeah. actually got you guys gifts if you want to wow oh, binky wow. Got wow binky got his gifts are they let me yeah, guess we, we got you guys gifts too let check, me check your fucking bank accounts yeah this check your fucking bank accounts for the last fucking you did never you got paid on your own fucking vacations you got paid touring with nate <laughs> <laughs> And you got paid in Greece. Wow, look at this. What's this, a butt plug? Wait, hold on. Let me guess. Is it is it multicolored pants? <laughs> wow, this guy got us fucking Sonoma flowers. What? Yeah, this is dope that's wine. Like one of the best people wow, in the world. Wow, make AOC bartend again. Open each other. You guys open oh, that, each other. Oh, yeah, that's oh, mine. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah. Well, why didn't you, yeah, you he's, just yeah. done this easy? Here, you this, this, one's, this one's got a hospital gown. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you should have just made one blue and one red, and we would have understood who yeah, went where. it is. I mean, this is a 10. Make an AOC bar 10 again. I mean, this hat is a fucking 10 out of 10. I that mean, this is, is going on. Are these soaps? That's, uh, oh, that's because Yanni likes to go live in the bathtub. It's the bath bomb for Yanni Long Day. Oh, uh, yeah. Yanni Long Day is going long day in the bathtub. I mean, I mean, it's what it is. This hat is a 10. These, these, these smell like, you know what? These smell like grandma's. That's a heavy smell. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. I mean, these are a 10 and a post-it. Post-it, cuz. A fucking post-it. It doesn't post matter. It. Yeah, Yanni, there's something else in there. I know, you. I'm going back Okay, in. so we got the bottle of Sonoma for me, flowers. Yeah. Wait, if it's not a, if it's not a bottle of Clonies, I'm not interested. <laughs> Enjoy your bath time. This kid got us some soaps. Got soaps. Okay, I thought the soaps were special for me, but they're not. Okay. Because these, I mean, these are fucking beautiful gifts. Can you hear me or am I just banging out the mic every time I touch it? I mean, cuz. You gotta loosen it, got a big head. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you can't wear a hat really, right? Well, let me see. How do I look in a hat? Can it get on? You look stupid. Do I look decent <laughs> in a hat or I don't have a good hat? <laughs> You, yeah, don't you like look me in different. Yeah, no, you, just, yeah. you look evil. I can't see your hair. Yeah, you, you look, look very different. Evil. <laughs> Let's see there. But that's a decent hat pick. No, it's gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. You look it. fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the Binky Mike got me. 
Oh. Oh my God, it's a ripped shirt. So I'm fucking ripped. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> fucking jack. Fucking yeah. jack. Look at that. This is what I'm going to wear all summer. <laughs> yeah, I was working out, but why do that? And the tattoo says, will always romance something. Yeah, why don't you throw it on? Yeah, why the fuck not, right? <laughs> A bottle of eggnog. Some cheap Pinot Noir. You can't go wrong with a cheap bottle no, of Pinot No, no, that's, that's, that's the, good that's stuff. The no, big, no, the, no, Sonoma is fucking good shit, that's, dude. That's uh, the biggest wine out in the Hamptons. Really? I mean, Binky, uh, Venetia, what did we get for Christmas? We got wine, too. Venetia Fields. Too bad. Yeah, no, uh, we see the thing no, is. No, I'm saying, what did you get us for Christmas? Oh, um, it's coming. coming. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> well, we're going to meet one more time. Oh, well, no, it's it's a New Year's Eve episode. <laughs> yeah. It's not December 18th. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we've already. This is, they're, they're watching well, this we're after. We're meeting on Christmas. Monday because we're doing an episode with Mike Rowe. Yeah. Which you already saw. How was that episode? <laughs> yeah, how was that? It was great. <laughs> was I present? <laughs> is he coming in, Mike Rowe? No, he's no, doing, doing Zoom. Zoom. I mean, what, it's just a bunch of... Are these soap balls? Yeah, they're soap balls. Dude. Yeah, go to Long Island, you fucking... You, that's where you belong. That's where I fucking are these belong. soap <laughs> balls? Are these fucking soap... Because make no mistake... Just get out of here. No mistake. Yeah. If I fucking move to Long Island, I'm the new Amy Fisher. I'm going to kill who's ever fucking husband I'm into. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the thing? So what? So you're, now you're thinking about... Just because Staten no, Island... No, don't say the... Don't say it because... Um, <laughs> Don't say it because uh, we can't say the, the town. Because guess what I did the other day? I fucking took a picture of a hot guy on the front cover of a magazine. And my address is on the magazine. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I had about 30 messages like, hey, your full address with the apartment number is on the magazine with the situation's name. But I don't live there anymore. <laughs> is that what really happened? I swear to God, dude. I, I got uh, like 40 Jesus. messages. So thank you guys. Don't worry. Fans, tell Nobody us. wants to go knock on that door. <laughs> yeah, you can knock on the situation on store if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, gonna, you're, in, you're in for I it. I told her too. I was like, hey, I really fucked up. And she was like, let them come. That's what she said. I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I remember you had a struggle between your mom wanting you to have Thanksgiving at her house and your wife wanting to start new traditions I think you should start a new tradition because if you were her, it's kind of like you're breaking bread with the Native Americans. The only, yes, the only way I can come out of the closet as an actual Democrat to my mother is if I buy a house on Long Island. I have to, I can't do something because she, you know, I, my mother, if I bought a house on Long Island, I don't know if my mother's heart could take it actually. That's, what she, that's her dream she for you. She can't, she wants it so bad. She wants to get, you know, she wants the house and she would want the house. Then she would try to make other things go away. But she, as far as she wants that house. Because sometimes, let's not say sometimes, all the times in the adult world. Right. All the time in the adult world to get what we want. You got to compromise your ethics sometimes and live in the gray zone a little bit. Yeah. We got to work with people we don't always want to work yes. with. Yes. Okay? Yes. We got to pretend like we think things are great that aren't great. Exactly. You got to play politics. Yes. For a bigger cause, that's how the adult world works. That's what a lot of these young children that are very woke don't understand. And what I'm talking about is for you to get to Long Island, mm -hmm. you had to get back to get it with your baby's mama. Yeah, you had to do some other things to, to make. It. You had to do some other things to move around some other pieces and create some new things. Yeah, but that is what's going to get you to Long Island. That's what's so, going to get me to Long Island. Although your mom might not be, might not have loved every step of the way. Yeah, to get there, <laughs> you ended up, you yeah. ended up in first place there. Just like we ended up on the moon using Nazi scientists. It's what it is, cuz. You just, you, sometimes you can't make fucking omelets without breaking eggs. Breaking a little eggs. It's what it is, cuz. And that's a perfect segue into what we're going to talk about today, which is Operation Paperclip, which was pretty much the operation that the United States did where they fucking took Nazi scientists for the, for, uh, to try to beat the Russians in the Cold War, and it's dirty business, and it's what it is. And the truth, and, and like, they have to sacrifice we have to sacrifice like look i'm getting a house on long island and i wanted certain things in the backyard but the truth of the situation is there's puerto ricans there so i put up a handball court it's just what it is <laughs> oh, you have to lose space to put up that handball wall so my puerto ricans and my family have something to do when they get upset when cosita linda's not on <laughs> 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 
That's yeah. So what it is? Oh, with the fucking remote. So much like the way Chrissy finally is going to make it to Long Island, it's we not, might. We might. It's, if I make it to Long Island, I told Tim Dillon he can have any twink he wants at the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a pure straight line to get there. Right. A lot of people didn't know, and at the time, these were uh, these were German scientists, and the public knew that they were German scientists. But the propaganda, the lies that the government told us for a bi bigger cause right. were that these was a good Germans. Let me tell you something. Let me be crystal clear. I'm going to put the hat on backwards. Yeah, stop telling me things, and I'd be more crystal clear about it. Let me be crystal clear. No, and you. turn it back around so the people can see what you believe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Put it back in there. You like that? Climb back yeah, behind a wood wall. Because if I do this... It's too much. Yeah, go do that. Yeah, there you go. It's too much. Now, fucking guy. Yeah, you fucking What's up, guy? guy? Let me tell you about World War II, you fucking agates. Yeah, let's fucking talk. Chrissy, talk to him. Chrissy, talk to him. All right, here's the fucking thing, guy. Everybody wants to fucking run their mouths about yeah. Adolf Hitler, but one of the worst guys ever, probably a guy who's even worse than Adolf Hitler, yeah. was fucking Joseph Stalin. So Joseph Stalin and Russia was probably the fucking worst kids, or even worse off than the fucking Germans, because uh, Stalin killed about twice as many people as Adolf did, and... And that's about fucking 17 million Jews he killed. Yeah, well, yeah, well, the thing he is... He was much worse he, than that guy. Here's a little thing. Here's here's what I want to tell you, too. It was even okay, Stevens... Okay, went back. I can talk normal now. It was even Stevens... And again, this is not to... This is not... Because we're just about facts over here. It was even Stevens, a lot of people believe, in the Holocaust, Jews to non-Jews who were killed. So 6 million Jews were killed, and they believe upwards of 6 million non-Jews were killed, meaning people who didn't, you know, uh, uh, people with disabilities, non-ethnic speaking German, uh, non-speaking Germans, Greeks, Catholics, Greeks, homosexuals. So it was like the, the Jews are, it was horrible what, what happened to them, but it wasn't only that. Same thing with Stalin. So you think, oh, Stalin didn't only kill Jews. Well, neither did Hitler. They, they both were horrible, horrible, horrible men that just did horrible things. And it, the reason why but I'm bringing it up... not as horrible as Donald Trump. Nothing's as bad no. as Donald Trump. No, no, no. no. Donald no. Trump no. is the new fucking no. Hitler. No. He's the new Hitler. He, um, so... So, an AOC is fucking Joseph Goebbels. Way, John so, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. So, she's the propaganda minister. She's a... Pop, 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 peace. No fumare. Dates white guys, which is what people that hate their own race always do. I mean, I don't know why people that hate white people will only date whites. It's it's a very interesting thing when you look at all these... I mean, Kamala Harris, fucking white husband. AOC, white husband. Elon Omar, white husband. Candace Owens, white husband. I mean, it's just... You know, well, Candace Owens doesn't hate whites, but I'm just saying like... You know, it's just like, it's so interesting. That I they think she have, adores whites. They always have white husbands, but it's always like, I, I, it's just, it's interesting. They hate, their own race. they hate their own race, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't co-sign No, AOC hates saying. white people, but she fucking is dates one. I don't, I don't co-sign. Oh. I think it's beautiful that people date across races. Like you created a beautiful, 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 beautiful body. Body. It's better for the immune system that, that fucking. Yes. So, so, um, and plus you're just, it's just a little more flavor. I mean, yeah, Germans, German Irish is just bland. It's just bland. You're just boring. bland fucks. It's just, yeah, it's, it's what it is. I, um, now here comes Joe's coming in. Joe, here. Joe is coming in. So what we're going to have right now is a guy's coming in. Our, our friend Joe is coming and in. He to wanted to the start radiator. a podcast. To start the podcast. He's got to <laughs> tighten the radiator. Um, because we got no heat on here and it's cold yeah. because we don't have a wrench because we're not real men. Yeah. But here's the thing. But you started saying that you know how to fix things too, like Fredo. I know how to you fix things. You go, I can fix things too. Yeah, I can fix things I too. Broke, I helped break down a wall. I helped my aunt break down a wall. I, yeah, I have my. Uh, yeah, but I didn't say what kind of wall. It was, it was a wall emotionally. I told her to go to betterhelp.com slash HH. <laughs> Get 10% off your first month. Yeah. <laughs> Venetia is laughing. Yeah. Because make no mistake, Venetia is attracted to Joe because he's a man. <laughs> no, uh, Venetia is presently dating. Uh, She's in a relationship, oh, oh, a modern sorry. day relationship that with the was Greek. very easy for her to get into Listen. without her brothers knowing about and, and without her dating, parents. She's dating town. a Greek guy that's just disguised as a black woman. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> not though. I'll tell you. Yeah, Come on in, is. Joey. Joe, Joey. Yeah. yeah, man with the wrench. <laughs> Here we go. We got to, yeah, so sorry. Joe, we're actually on air right now. If that's okay with you, we can pause it or... Let's pause. Want to just pause it? Yeah. So Joe, our good friend Joe, uh, Joe the plumber, who's not a plumber, 
But uh, Joe the handyman just came over and fixed the heat, turned the heat on for us because we don't have a wrench or know how to do anything like a man would do. So that slight hissing you sound uh, is not the situation. It's the heat. I think, did you hear what you just said? That slight hissing you sound. Oh, that slight hissing you hear? Yeah. I mean, you're Chrissy Biden as well. Yeah. I mean, you're also Chrissy Biden. And especially with that hat on, because make no mistake, the rest of the Democratic Party's not a fan of AOC right now. She's getting fucking dragged. You're on notice, bitch. You're on notice. So I got to wear my hat like this now, because this is how the kids on Long Island do it. And if I move to Long Island, this is what I'm going to have to do. My daughter's going to come home with guys that wear their fucking hats like this. Yeah, it's just, and that's going to be fine. As long as that's you're on Long Island. That's going to be fine. Your mom as will be happy are. about it. I have to see a dentist immediately. Do you have a dentist? I don't have it. I have a pediatric dentist that I still go to. <laughs> but my teeth are little. Yeah. So, cuz. Uh, well, you have a cavity? I got real sensitivity here, like on both sides, like real sensitivity. So there's probably cavities. Yeah, on I mean, both you're sides. a sensitive guy. I'm a sensitive guy. I just need a Clonny. You need a Clonny. I'm Yanni. Yo, cuz, am I Yanni Clonny? Cuz you're Yanni Clonny. I'm Yanni. I'm you're Clonny. Yanni Yanni. You're, you're, you're Yanni the Cyclone. <laughs> so this is a very interesting thing here what happened i mean was, your shirt is fucking wild because because you actually look like that now this is yeah this is my fucking present because make no life. mistake it's fucking that shirt's turning me on because you got a tit tat yeah because <laughs> i'm starting to get down to like my my, my miami body i you was just, you I got was some a, puss in miami i got let's a, just be honest with let's just be honest with the group i mean the kid used to send me tens from miami and i would spank off <laughs> yeah the kid I no, was, no no edit that part out yeah edit that part. as chip would say yeah so edit no, no but you, edit you that nice, part out edit nice, that part you out had some nice, you had some nice fuck cuz you had some hotties. You had a beautiful apartment and a used Mercedes. No, it was, it was a BMW. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and it was funny because uh, the guy who um, who worked at the lot of the studio, yeah, he called it the machine. The and machine. he said it with a Cuban accent. He was like, man, that's a machine. That's a beautiful car. Yeah, it was a beautiful car. What a beautiful apartment. Because I had a two-floor loft, floor-to-ceiling windows, two pools, a parking space, and I was paying $2,025, 2 2 2 Five zero. You would, and you had a view of the water. I had a view of the water, and I was downtown, man. I was in Bri I was in Brickle Lake, Brickle, in Manhattan. Brickle, Miami. Because I'm looking for a house that's got a view of the what? Because you want a little water. And How'd you move to Smithtown? Because <laughs> let's I moved to Smithtown water with Tank Sinatra. Yeah, let's just be crystal who's clear. Fucking on steroids. You just you're nervous about buying a house because you're looking down the road and you really think I'm gonna be ending up in an apartment next to that house. So you're trying to figure out a town that also has condos close by. I'm trying to figure out a town that also has condos close by because my main goal is this: is to buy a house for my daughter. And and so she can have a pool and a backyard and things that I never had, but also that these podcast that the podcast and, and everything we're doing does great and career keeps going. So I will be able to invest and own the house that my ex wife and a new husband and my daughter live in <laughs> and a new and a condo with my new wife. <laughs> 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 it's just what it is. Venetia wants to stop me today. Should I take a clonopin today? Venetia said I'm out of take control a today. You want a clonopin? No, I'll do a CBD though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're talking about Operation Paperclip. So at the time, this was a secret operation that Harry Truman did after the Harry war. Harry Truman is a fucking squeak. He was a squeak. He, he, you, you know what's wild about Harry Truman? Uh, real quick, I'm sorry. He yeah. was a fucking small farm boy from Missouri. Yeah. The kid was only vice president for three months when FDR died, yeah. and then he became the president. Do you know? He was Kamala before Kamala. Yes, Harry Truman is Kamala. The very first, this is a wild fact, which I, I just recently learned, but it's wild. A out of World War II, the raging that was going on for five, six, seven years, because it was going on for a couple years before America entered. FDR, Adolf Hitler, and Mussolini all died within a month of each other. Those three all died within a month, and then the war was over. It's so interesting because... Harry Truman, th this is why like fate and things like that, we, we would have potentially been speaking fucking German or, you know, having to be forced to learn how to use chopsticks because we almost, we would not have won <laughs> World War II if, if Harry Truman didn't come in at the time he came in only because Truman felt so much fucking pressure to end the war because he was new and didn't know what else to do and was getting blamed for men dying and FDR never wants to pull the trigger. So FDR dies. And then in a month, two months, 
Truman's like, I gotta end the war because I have so much pressure. And he said, he made like a, a split second decision and said, go. And then that Enola Gay took off. So that thing was waiting there with the atom bomb, ready to go for months and FDR never used it. And then Truman literally made a momentary decision and said, go. And then just fucking went and, and then the war was over. How yeah. wild is that? A lot of historians believe that it was unnecessary and they did that to uh, scare the Russians because they knew the Cold War was coming. That's probably the truth. That's but probably the, truth, too. But then the other option was, I mean, because what's the other option? Then MacArthur was saying, well, we could do a million-man invasion and lose potentially another 500, or do a two-million-man invasion and lose a million invading mainland Japan. I think Japan was ready to submit. <laughs> they were ready to submit. They just didn't want to give up their emperor or some shit they didn't like want, that. No, no, well, they didn't want to give up the emperor. And the truth of the situation is really why they really, even after the nukes, they were, this is another fact that a lot of people don't know. Either, even after the nukes were dropped, that's not necessarily the reason they surrendered. The reason they really surrendered is because Stalin and the Russians were coming in from the other side and they were about to invade mainland Japan and they did not want to fuck with the Russians because be honest, cousin, nobody does. Stalin, just like Operation Paperclip, the reason I wanted to bring up Stalin, is we did the same thing with Stalin and the Russians as we did with the German scientists. They were, they were our enemies and then our friends, but really always our enemies. So in the beginning of the war, Hitler and Stalin made a pact and said, uh, Hitler said, I'm not going to invade you. I'll give you Poland. We'll invade Poland. Fuck Poland up. The main end, you know, we got to keep America out of the war. That's the main goal here. Blah, 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 blah. And then fucking Hitler goes crazy, starts doing crystal meth, pounds of chocolate. They go nuts. And he says, I'm going to invade Russia. Stalin's like, go fuck yourself. The pact is broken. Japan has to come in and fucking bomb Pearl Harbor because they didn't have any oil. It's a whole fucking thing. We could talk about that for hours. It's a whole fucking thing. But the Japs had to come in and do what they had to do. Woke up the boys. And then, and then Stalin became our Stalin became our friend, even though he was always necessarily our enemy. So that's what Operation Paperclip is. Is yeah, the German scientists were bad guys, but we then in the 1950s and late 40s needed to fucking keep Russia away from us. So we said we got to take these scientists and beat them to the moon, and that's what the Cold War is. Yeah, I mean, look, Does that makes sense. <laughs> this whole episode is. Uh, I mean, that was just a a couple of minute lesson from a kid from Long Island. <laughs> Who knows if any of that's true, but it is what it no, is. But you know what? Something, because I did always used to think, like, why the fuck? Why? Oh, why? Would Japan come and bomb Pearl Harbor? But do you know the reason why they did it? Do you Oil. Know? But do you know, like, what like what they had to do it? Why? We were squeezing them. We were squeezing them. We so, were squeezing them. So Japan was taking over. FDR knew we needed to get into the war. FDR was getting pressure from Churchill. He knew what Hitler was trying to do. Yeah. And sometimes you got to trick that you, sometimes you got to motivate your people through subterfuge and propaganda. Winston Churchill, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. And I think he stole that from, uh, from, uh, what's from Greeks, the, what's, right? It's always from Greeks. No. <laughs> He from, stole from Socrates, who from, invented English. From the famous uh, <laughs> basketball coach from UCLA. John Wooden. John Wooden. I what? think he stole from John Wooden. But John, John you, Wooden was 150 years old. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, so you're making a joke. The, this is... This is <laughs> uh, okay, but Japan... But it was interesting because all of Asia... Japan was taking over Asia. Rape of Nanking, destroying them, blah, 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 blah. And then they wanted... They needed the Philippines to, to fucking launch... And get more islands. And, and to, to get more physical therapists on, to get the, more physical on the job. That's yeah. the joke I was going to make. <laughs> <laughs> they need okay. It. Sometimes you say the jokes that I, I tweeted yeah. on here. I tweeted. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the, they we share to, jokes here. Yeah. The, 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 okay, so I'll change the joke. Yeah, they needed to, they needed to invade because there were a bunch of Manny Pacquiao's running around. So, <laughs> so they needed to get to the Manny Pacquiao Island yeah. because, because, that was a Japan's launching point to maybe get to the United States, to get to all these other islands that had yeah. the oil. Yeah. And then FDR came in and said, you're not going to fucking do that. Yeah. So we're going to fucking squeeze you. And they put a fucking embargo yeah. on those fucking motherfuckers that said no more oil. So really, a lot of people think, oh, Japan just stupid and woke up the sleeping giant, but they really had no choice because they had no more oil. And the Japanese war machine ran on only oil. So they yeah. could not continue their conquest well, of Asia well, without American oil. Yeah, well, everything ran on oil back then. Everything ran on yeah, oil. Not, yeah, not said, fucking, yeah. not uh, solar panels. Yeah, we didn't have those yet. I mean, the Japanese war machine ran yeah, on oil. Yeah, well, you put a bunch so of tinfoil on your head. Yeah, so, so did everything else. Everything ran on oil. I think almost everything still now Runs on oil, well, except for Elon Musk's cars. Yeah, Elon Musk's cars don't do that. 
Here's but, the the theme of this episode is Elon Musk is a fucking fascinating guy, but make no mistake, a snoozer of a guest on a podcast. Yeah, he's a snooze. He's an I mean, egghead. He's just he doesn't talk. He's an egghead. He's but an you egghead. You can't have everything, he's right? Not, I mean, of course. I mean, it, like the universe is balanced. I mean, look, yeah. you're a handsome kid, but you got weird feet. It's yeah, what it is. It's what it is. I got yeah. weird feet. I make poor decisions. Yeah, I mean, Vanity is a beautiful, smart girl, but you know, she she makes. She's into young black women. She's into young black women, and she works on a fucking podcast that her parents aren't proud. Michael, of. Michael, homeless a, pimp is a handsome kid, but he's dressed like a fucking ball pit I every mean, day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the kid, I don't know what the fucking kid's wearing. He's got, he's got, he's wearing slippers for shoes in the snow. I mean, in the snow. I mean, they, he's mentally, he's walks around like fucking uh, who, Vinny who, the Chin. Vinny the fucking Chicago. Chin. Yeah. The, Vinny Mike, chin Pimp is, a, we should call, start calling him homeless pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fucking <laughs> Binky Mike is fucking, cause he's permanently out to lunch. He's permanently out to lunch. Yeah, he's permanently out to lunch. <laughs> What's been amazing to me in this era is the discovery of CBD. Thank God we got the best company sponsoring us right now. I use their products. Chrissy's using their products. They center me. They calm me. They make me feel balanced and yicky, yicky, yeah. My favorite website to go to and the website you should go to right now is get5thc.com. That's get5thc.com, babe. These things will change your life. Go there, do it, because I'm telling you, the calmest and relaxed I've ever felt is since I've been using five CBDs. They got they got gummies, honey. They got gummies that you can't imagine how good they are. Because I like a little gummy treat. The Daily Buzz gummies. If you go to get5thc.com, they're coming to you for free. They come right to your door for free. Because the Wild. truth is, the truth is, when I was recovering from COVID, right? And yes. I was in recovery. Yes. These things soothe me. Yes. They calm me. They made me feel balanced and centered. CBD is the best. This company's the best. They got gummies. Yes. Then they got their, uh, then you got just basically the little oil that you can put in your little drip drip. What do you Tincture. do with it? Because what do you put, the, what do you put this in? I put that. I put it in my smoothie. I put that in my smoothie. I put that in my sleepy time tea. Uh, shout out to Celestial Seasonings. I put that in my sleepy time tea. And it just makes me feel so much better. It's good for my recovery, my sleep, my mood, everything. They also have chocolate candies, yes, um, which are so delicious. They have vegan products, and it's unbelievable. CBD has changed my life. Because make no mistake, I'm Chrissy CBD, and my initials are CBD. Chris preferred bisexual to Stefano. <laughs> and here's the things, guys. This month, listeners can get a special deal. This is very important. So go to get five THC. Dot com and get your free bottle of Daily Buzz gummy. Buy gummies. By the way, these have up to uh, five milligrams of THC per gummy as well. So they'll ship your gummy straight to your door in all 50 states. Even Oregon? Even Oregon. Oregon. Because they got Portland. Yeah, and this it's just a quality company because quality CBD with a little dose of THC who doesn't like that? Because that is F U N and G O O D. Good. Fun, fun, fun. One of my favorite things to do in life is suck a THC gummy right off a guy's dick. Yeah. So just go. It eases you, soothes you, and makes you feel cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Get five THC.com. Chrissy, this is a very difficult time during quarantine, during COVID. And I think only now are people really starting to understand how widespread the need is to talk to somebody. Now, you're in therapy, no? I'm in therapy, and here's the funny thing. While I was away from the podcast, I did have COVID, I did get trauma from the COVID, and I went to betterhelp.com and started seeing a therapist there, writing in a journal there. And then I came to the podcast and found out they are sponsoring our podcast. It's wild. True it's story. A, it's a true story. So like, what more do you need that one of the co-hosts of the show actually uses the product and loves it and is helpful? And if you go to betterhelp.com slash HH right now, you get 10% off the first month. So betterhelp.com slash HH, get 10% off the first month right now. Yanni, I mean, honestly, like you genuinely love it and are doing so much better since you've been doing this. Yeah, the internet's an amazing thing in some ways. So you go on there, you write out what your situation is, you write out why you're there. They 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 connect you with a therapist. You can change therapists, request to change therapists if you don't exactly connect. You can get it right. Uh, you have a journal to write in, and then you have a video phone sessions with a therapist and you get to talk. Nothing is better 
than hel- at helping you than talking and writing and going to therapy. It works. And this is just a great, easy way for you to do it through quarantine. You set yourself up immediately. Boom, you go. Next thing you know, you're contacted. You set an appointment. The appointments are like 65 bucks an appointment or something. You sign up for like four or whatever. With, with our promo code, you get 10% knocked off. I'm using it. A lot of people are using it, and I highly recommend it. I'm enjoying it, and that is just the truth. This isn't even just a, I'm not even just saying this because we're getting paid to. Now, let me ask you a question. Is your therapist a piece? My therapist is a, just a piece because she helps people. Do you and, think about her feet a no, little bit? No, no. This is not going to be part of the read. This is not what they want. That's not what they want. I think we nailed it. Yeah. No, I think it could. That absolutely could be part of the read if you make could them it? funny. Yeah, dude. If I'm we're thinking fucking about my therapist's feet. No, you just said you just said no. Betterhelp.com slash HH. Yeah, dude, this is how, this is how you stick out with shit like that. You ask a question, you just say no. That's not what this is about. Okay, that's not what it's about. I don't think about her feet. You don't think about okay, so you don't think about your therapist's feet, that's a good sign. Yeah. But if you do, I mean the therapist at betterhelp.com, you never know. They want to help the clients that may throw a toe on camera. Betterhelp.com slash HH. Go get 10% off your first month <laughs> with the hyenas. Yeah. All right, I'm doing stand-up again January 16th in the middle of a field in Pennsylvania, Royersford, Pennsylvania, heated tent. It's going to be great. One show, go to christycomedy.com for tickets or souljoles, with an S, dot com for tickets, souljoles.com. January 16th, Royersford, Pennsylvania. I'm doing an hour. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be wild. Why not come it's good. There, there's heaters there. They're going to have beers. Bring your lawn chair. It's going to be great. January 16th, doing a little stand-up. Maybe I'll FaceTime Sal. This episode, the theme really is about to get where you're getting, you, 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 you're going to lose your purity. You're going to lose... Yes. You're going to lose your innocence. It's a you loss of innocence. I mean, because do you like Ichiru Suzuki? I mean... Do you like Ichiro? I mean, he was a good ball player. Now, if we didn't drop two bombs on Japan... Would we ever be able to see Ichiro Suzuki play baseball? There's no Ichiro Suzuki. I mean, I'm asking an honest question. There's no Hideki Matsui without the Marshall Plan. And if, and if we don't have Hideki Matsui, he doesn't get that big hit. We don't win that World Series. But then, there's a, but then, but the only caveat I'll say for me personally is if we don't get Hideki Matsui, my dad doesn't gamble on it, and I don't lose my bank account. Yeah, but he did it later on something else because your dad likes to bet on the slow horses. It's what it is because, I mean, yeah, my dad bet on the Montreal Expos. What are we doing? I mean, they don't even exist anymore. Yeah, what can you do? But they were good that you said Randy Johnson. Yeah, I mean, they were with that. What? And, they, and Pedro Martinez. Montreal Expos? Montreal Expos had Randy Johnson, Pedro Martinez, Vlad Guerrero. Very early, very yeah, early. Cause yeah, because they yeah. had a fucking squad. They I, were like the squad. I think, yeah, they were like the squad before the squad. AOC! And I still think they had the nicest baseball logo of all time. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So what happened here with Operation Paperclip is Harry Truman, he wanted to grab all these German scientists because they were working on missiles and things. That and also doing some things, some bad things. But we looked the other way and we said, "What you guys been doing?" And they said, "Oh, we've been killing Jews." And we said, "No, you haven't. Shut up. You guys have been Shut making teddy mouth. bears. You're making teddy bears. You're coming to the United States, and we're gonna call you guys the Good Germans. We're gonna rename you Good Germans." So when they fucking wheeled them out in front of those press conferences, they say, "Hey, here's Van der Bland Schmiekisch." No, von er, von, von er von Brunn. Here's so, where von er von Brunn, and he said, "Hi." And they said, put on a fucking smiley face. And the first thing you got to say is that you love Knishes. And the kid did it. And the kid did he it. He said, hi, guys. I'm coming from Germany. It was such a horrible thing happened there. The whole time I couldn't wait to get to America. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Orlando. Knishes. Yeah. I yeah. want a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so that, Operation and they, tricked the people. So it was originally called, originally called Operation Overcast, but that sounded too depressed. Yeah. So they, so they later renamed it Operation Operation Paperclip, where roughly 1,600 German scientists, along with their families, were brought to the United States to work on America's behalf during a the A few Cold of them War. lived in fucking Ridgewood. Yeah, a few of them went to Rudy's Bakery, <laughs> which got which now they have their Christmas linden tots out there. Good. Um, so, so... Because um, do you have weird opinions about other ethnicities that you hide because of your genetics? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just in a German? Like, do you just have strange secret opinions about other ethnicities that you just have to hide on a consistent I, basis? Yeah, I yeah, I think I think I do. I think there are. Yeah. 
I think I think it is. Where, you just walk around and look at me, and you go in, in your head before you even make a choice to say you you just have a thought that goes dirty Greek, dirty Greek. Yeah, yeah. Like when I when I get when I after I do this podcast, I make sure I the first thing I do when I get home is I get butt naked and I check for Greek spots if they popped up on my skin. <laughs> when you go home and you see you see the situation, is there just a part of you that goes like yeah. The, 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 you know that just says something yeah but there's a thing with the because the german superiority thing in me wants to say oh get away from that but then the ritual in me says i like a nice puerto rican ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah because germans do have this weird kind of superiority complex we do yeah the germans and the still. strange thing is you guys are fucking pale and can't even handle sun can't, yeah. and you're only cute till you're about 40 and then after you turn 40 you're fucking your skin turns to shit and you all look like you climb mount everest for a living but let's be honest much like me how i spin out when I when 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 in the beginning of a war, yeah. you want the Germans like the, to start off a war. If we ever fight the aliens, you want the the Germans will be the leader. The Germans need to lead off because we come out hot and hard with the Blitzkrieg, and then we lose steam because you know the, the the superiority thing takes over, and you say, "Oh, now I want to invade Russia and do stupid shit." But in the beginning, nobody can stop the Germans because they you know. Until we start to the overcorrectness and say we want to take over the world and get greedy. Overcorrectness. I mean, the kid is really Chrissy Biden today. Yeah. Until overcorrectness. Until until it's we, not a word overcorrectness. Until we overcorrect. I meant to say. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay because you're from Ridgewood. You got a doctorate. I got a doctorate. You did, uh, since that point, you didn't have to learn one more fucking thing. So here's what you need. So you got in a war with the aliens. You but Anne Eileen did tell me that you think with your dick when we were having intimates gay. It's what it is. She yeah, said my Anna, nephew thinks with his dick. And Anna, Anna is just a good person. <laughs> and her name's Anne Colleen before she sues. Oh, sorry. Shit. Yeah. So, so, so. Um, You've sacrificed a lot for this podcast. In a war, in a war with. The, yeah, that's why we need to get the ad reads up. We're going to Paragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. what it is. We can't, you know, we can't. It's just money. What can you do? Yeah. Um, um, uh, um, the, with a war with the aliens, <laughs> let's figure this out. In a war with the aliens, you need the Germans to come out of the gate with the Blitzkrieg. Yeah. That's the first Well, I'm way. going Chinese. I'm, I, I'm up Well, no, the Chinese are going to come in at the end. The Chinese and the Americans will come in at the end. I just want a billion Chinese to just throw at whatever's coming the at The Chinese me. are coming at the end. And then in the middle, when we're losing a little bit, that's when you bring out the Greeks because you need to cheat a little bit. <laughs> What does that mean? We don't fucking cheat? I don't know. Aren't you cheat? I just feel like the Greeks are just a little fucking, you know? No, we're stingy. We don't stingy. cheat. Are we cheat? Do we cheat? What do you mean, cheat with money? I don't know. You're a self-hating Greek. <laughs> yeah. No, you're I'm a self-hating Greek. American. Me too. We're both self-hating Greeks. That's what we ended up being. I think, yeah. No, we don't cheat. Okay. Look, I just want, I want to fucking launch Chinese I people at, at whatever's company, guys. I mean, Chinese Chinese kids are <laughs> Chinese kids can fit in cannons, and I just whatever whatever's, okay. whatever's yeah, coming I mean, at me, yeah. I'm fucking launching bodies at whatever's. Yeah, coming. Yeah, I want to fucking launch. Yeah, like and that, you got that a billion of kid from or Ocean's fucking 11. South Asians. You got a fucking million Akashes. You could just fucking launch oh, yeah. at whatever's coming. Yeah, Akash. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those those ones. Yeah, those Akash's would be the wife is a piece. She's a piece. Akash yeah. is a piece. He's got gorgeous fucking green eyes. Because if Akash went down from COVID, are you hitting on his wife? No, no, no. That's bad. That's bad. I can't. No, no, You're no. You're not going to. Yeah, it's a bad. guy's fucking wife. That's fucking guy code. If a guy dies of COVID, do not talk to his wife. Can't talk to his wife. That's fuck. They don't tell you that on the CDC warnings, but you heard it here on, on History of Hyenas. That's part of the CDC talk recommendations. To wife. No. 10 to 14 days, one day without a fever. And if the guy dies from lung issues, don't fuck his wife. No, yeah, yeah, no. You cannot. No, you heard no, it here no. first. You can't fuck. I fuck how much the kid steam do you have left? 15 or 7%? Yeah, I, well, I mean, no, we could probably do another 20 minutes. Then it tea line that she has to leave. Um, Where do you got to go? Where are you going? You got to go You got to go check on your brother cooking ramen noodles in the kitchen? I mean, where do you have to go? It's a snowstorm and we're in the middle of a pandemic. Is your Greek friend waiting for you at a, a store that's not open because it's a pandemic? Where are you going, Venetia? Oh, uh, I told you that. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll say that because she wanted Joe to leave. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Here's the thing. Here's, he's outside the door listening right now. Yeah, what can you do? Because he's been, he, yeah, don't say it. He's, um, he, here's the thing. Is President Truman... Do you want a Jewish chocolate? Yes, I do. The sea lot. Chrissy cannot turn down a chocolate. So he, he, uh, I did somebody knocked. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> President Harry Truman, Harry S. Truman, um, he forbade the agency... That uh, the agency was called the Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency, whose goal it was to get all the German scientists together to develop the rockets and the thing to get us to the moon before the 
Soviets, but Truman forbade the agency from recruiting any Nazi members or active Nazi supporters, even though he sanctioned the operation. But the truth is, everybody he recruited was a Nazi. Yeah. So yeah. he's saying, I didn't recruit any Nazi members, but then it's like Werner von Braun, who became the head of the NASA, built the V-2 rockets that blew up London. Yeah. So what was what was he just doing that for, for fun? He was a fucking Nazi. Yeah. And so... The Nazis basically got us to the moon because that technology, the V2 rocket, ended up splintering off and becoming uh, the uh, ancestor to the technology that we threw into a, the Apollos, right? Is yes. that what they were called? Yes. So eventually- Shout out Apollo 13. Gary yeah. Sinise was in that, and this this is sponsored by Tim Dillon's Belly Hair. Go sp sponsor uh, the G Gary Sinise uh, funding project, or the Lieutenant Dan. Okay, this is brought to you by Tim Dillon's Belly Hair in support of the <laughs> Gary Sinise Foundation. Just go Google Lieutenant Dan Foundation. It's a fucking good thing. Gary Sinise was an actor in Apollo 13. So was Tom Hanks, who's a pedophile. And he was also in Forrest Gump. Uh, it's a great foundation called Lieutenant Dan Foundation. Google it. It's raising money. Uh, to advocate for veterans, uh, yeah, and it's been doing it for 15 years, and Happy your veterans donations Day. will go to good use. Either all these charities are legit, or this kid is just caking off with your money. On I mean, this kid just, sends us Tim Dillon's I belly mean, hair on Patreon sends us pictures of him active duty in Iraq, and it's scary. No, the kid is a veteran. The kid is a great American. We He's love a great you kid. so he might much. Snap. We love you so much, and this is he comes with these great causes, and donate to his other cause still too. But go touch a life, kids. Touch. Touch a kid's life. Touch a kid's life foundation, right? I think it's touch a life kids. Touch a life kids. Dot com. Yeah, it's touch, touch, touch a, a life kids. <coughs> touch a life kids dot org. And then go to the Gary, Sine the Lieutenant Dan, Dan Foundation. Foundation. Thank you very much where he's raising money. He's run by Gary Sinise. Which is advocating for veterans who, who, by the great actor Gary Sinise. Well, I think Gary Sinise might be the greatest B-list actor of all time. He's probably a close A. He's a great B actor. He's also, uh, you know. Unbelievable guy. He's from Chicago, and they, he has a theater company with John Malkovich. That's where he started. Yeah, it's what yeah. it is. Yeah, I know a little bit about John Malkovich. Um, we're going to do an episode on John Malkovich. Yeah, why the so, fuck not? So the interesting thing is these officials that Harry Truman hired um, from this in, uh, Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency, the JIOA, they said, oh, no Nazis. But really what they did is they just whitewashed the incriminating evidence of the war crimes from these scientists' records. So, I mean, yeah. these were guys who developed certain types of gases to kill people in the Holocaust camp. They designed rockets that killed allied soldiers and, and citizens. They designed all types of vehicles that the Nazis used, but they just whitewashed it all away because the government, U.S. government said, well, you know what? That was bad, bad, bad. But we need to beat the Russians to the moon, so we need to hire them because they are just the Mickey smartest Mouse. scientists. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Yes. No, Mickey Mouse. Because I love the truth it. is, even United though- United States, Mickey Mouse. Even though Hot the dog. only thing that I love more than- Adolf Hitler's. Puerto Ricans <laughs> is this country. <laughs> I love the United States so much, but the truth of the situation is if we're just going to be Ani Wani, yeah. just going to be honest, Giannis, the, we are very bad too. We didn't put people in concentration camps. But we also don't do great things because we're a main country corporation, just like any other business that does disgusting, horrible things. We're this hashtag samesies. You have to understand that about America. Well, it's like any other country. I disagree. I mean, it's, it, wow. be, it becomes a yeah. <laughs> I, it becomes a matter of degree. The real world's a little messy, and what we did here is these German scientists were brilliant. They were being used by the Nazis for bad things. Right. We kind of took them captive, as they even called themselves. They called themselves prisoners of peace. Right. We, uh, we took them because we knew if we didn't take them, that the Soviets would get them. Right. So. And Soviets would do bad things. Soviets also would Stalin, do bad things. Okay, you know what? I take that back because Stalin, FDR, and Truman, who did bad things, they weren't as fucking bad as Stalin. They were Stalin was Stalin hard. was killing his own people. I mean, it's hard to measure. They were both bad. Stalin is, was hard. Stalin. The thing about Stalin and communism is, for some reason, communism gets romanticized, which is wild. Because anytime it's been in practice, millions of people die and get and get fucking murdered. He sent people to pogroms. He murdered dissidents. Pogroms, Biden. That's what they do. <laughs> That's what they all fucking do. They end up murdering, but for some reason, you got little hands, and it's starting to freak me out. They're not that little. And, and um, but it's it for some reason it gets they get um they, it gets it gets they get a pass it they gets get a pass. it gets like 
watered down, like because of this idea. And there's always the same excuse. Oh, it's because America intervened. It's like, so how strong is the system that it can't stand up if America intervenes? What does that mean, America intervenes? America right. did, decided they didn't want to do business with them. They did an embargo with them. So fine. So they can't stand on their own. I mean, so their system sucks. So it's like communism always gets his fucking pass. But yeah, I mean, Stalin was evil. He would have got his hands on them. Uh, Stalin was, a, uh, you know... War makes for strange be bedfellows, as the expression says. We we were aligned with Stalin to beat Hitler. Winston Churchill said that. Because it was the lesser... The, Winston Churchill said everything. He, he said, said everything. everything. He said everything. He, he, also, he, bought it. he also said it, it's what it is. He said it's what it is. Yeah. He also said AOC needs to go back to bartending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He also said, go get a house on Long Island. Yeah. So I disagree with you, Chrissy. Can you scroll down a little bit? I'm going to side... No, we can agree to disagree. That's yeah, what having a democracy is. The red, white, and blue... You voted for communism. The red, white, and blue it has 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 was born with an original sin. Um, what we did to the Native Americans in a lot of ways was bad. Even though most of them died of smallpox, we brought the smallpox. Yeah. What can you do? And it's like, you know, we, we don't also want to do. I mean, you shoot bows and arrows at me. Yeah, you shoot bows and arrows. Then also, but mostly slavery. But we are the country built on the best ideas and ideals. And going forward, I believe in the red, white, and blue. I believe in Kamala Harris's America. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for 2024 when Trump's coming back, baby. Yeah, I tell you who's running in 2024. Donnie T. Mikey Pence. Yeah, Mikey, and Mike Pence, Pence is, is running in 2024, and he probably Big. will win. He probably will win. That's why vaccinated. he went and took the vaccine, because he got to the point where he's like, you know, he's still paying lip service to the Trumpies a little bit by going like, every vote needs to count, but he knows it's over. He's getting the vaccine on TV because he knows that's the right side of history. He knows it's like, and then in 2024, he's coming strong. He'll probably win, because Biden's definitely, Biden's definitely going, Biden's going bye-bye yeah. in the next four years. Yeah. And then Kamal Harris is going to get in there and say, Excuse me, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. She's fucking woke. Yeah, and she's going to put everyone in jail for fucking marijuana yeah. violations. Because let's just be honest, we're the white... Fucking gas digital studios is going to be in a federal penitentiary. It's what it is. Yeah, Dan Soder's going to be locked up in fucking Warsaw. Yeah. Why? What did he do? He smokes weed. Oh, and Kamala, out. if you smoke weed, Kamala do not like you. Speaking of Warsaw, uh, Patreon.com slash Let's just make Boys. Amy Schumer fucking secretary's Let's state. do it. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Um, Dr. Lukash got the vaccine. Go check it out. It's a great episode. Um, and tell your friends about Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. What a great way to ring in the new year on Patreon. Yeah, and if you want to give us a Christmas present, just go join our channel. That is our channel. That's what it is. Guys, nobody does, really, nobody does more content than we do on our channel. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We got... Go to... Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. No, we got we, we do we do we do surprise weapon in the mornings yes. all the time. You never know when Dude. they're coming. Multiple ones. We do bonus episodes. We just did, we we just talked to like Chris said, one of the first doctors to get the vaccine in, Truly, New, York City. in New York. Yeah. We do all types of bonus stuff. Ladder fourteen. There's so much stuff to binge on there. Also, it's a community where you can interact with the other super fans. Nothing's more important than community right now. We're all alone. We're, we're a community. Help you go through this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and talk to each other. And we're almost at 5,000. So get us to 5,000. That's what we want for Christmas. Go join patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys where there's tons of bonus content yes. you can enjoy. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Or if you want to, you know, for free, um, you could just subscribe to us on YouTube, you fucking Jew. Wei Jong Jan. <laughs> Chris, just be you. Just, I'm kidding. Just I'm just kidding around. No, he's joking and everyone I'm joking knows around. It. That's the thing. Yeah. Can I just say something to yeah, the group? Just, just say I'm it. Just say to the community. Yeah. Uh, you can make jokes yeah. about being a racist and also not be a racist. Like, yeah. there ha words have to... Like, you can joke about things that you do not believe in. That is the point of being com a comedian. Yeah. I would never make a joke and say something that's just a fucking slur or horrible thing. But, like, making a joke, a, a, just a little thing that I clearly don't mean, does not mean that I believe that thing. So we have to stop that moving into 2021. You should be able to joke about something and not have that mean that that's what you actually believe. Yeah. It's a very scary, slippery slope to go down. Yes. So I fucking love Jewish people, but it's an easy joke that's very been out there for years. It's almost hacked to say they're cheap. So I'm just, that's why I made the joke. But yeah. seriously, you know, yeah. fucking Heisenberg, just go to Patreon. It's a German name, but. Oh, yeah, sorry. It doesn't matter. Heisenhoff, we, yeah, uh, yeah, Heisen, Steinberg or something. Stein, Heisen, Heisenberger. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Ed Gentile again for making this amazing For logo. making Yanni look ha more handsome than me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for some reason you, you have a. I mean, I have fucking, you made, you made me. 
gave me black teeth and gums. I mean, you made me look like a fucking gingivitis, and you made Yanni look like an Armenian piece. Yeah. Looks, like, looks like a Kardashian. Yeah, and over here, he, the other artist made you look absolutely brother school. Yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. And he made me look like a fucking falafel stand guy. Yeah, I mean, and he put, for some reason, he put the Italian flag on you. <laughs> I mean, but, we're wild. And you also fucking put a jackal in there. It's not a hyena. That's not a hyena. But, that's a I, fucking jackal. But that's the way we roll, babe. But it, and I like the tiling. It's what I want to get on my bathroom floors. Yeah, get that for you. Come in and do the tiling. Come and do the tiling. And, happy uh, fucking uh, New Year's to the hyena. Happy, and happy New Year's to you. It's what it is. It's a little Greek song for you. Yes, and make no mistake, Venetia gave that to you for your daughter's birthday, but it was actually given to her by her mom, and it was as a hint to say, you need to start popping out some kids now. Yeah. You know, it was so funny, a gift, that I decided to keep it here, and that's just what we're going to do. <laughs> Guys, Von Braun... The, he, Who's a fucking piece. Go up to... Yeah. Werner Von Braun... <laughs> Who was the head of NASA? I mean, he looks like he looks like he looks like fucking Don Draper. He looks like Sean Connery from Go, um, uh, 007. I got a mesh crotch. R.I.P. Sean Connery. R.I.P. Sean Connery. Great voice. Great voice. Yes. Mesh crotch. So brain. So Von Braun's rocket, which was the V two, was yeah. um, an immediate um, antecedent. Oh no, sorry. Oh, no, I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't want to just read. Oh, it was 19, October 1942, and it was employed against targets in Europe beginning of September of 1944. Von Braun, um, it, it, in the beginning of 1945, it was obvious to Von Braun that Germany would not achieve victory against the Allies, and he began planning the post-war era. So you, it's tough. So, Yanni, I'm going to have to disagree. According to this, Von Braun may have been a Nazi and then just kind of, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. That's what I think might have happened. Because we're crossing streams. Let's cross legs. What We're crossing streams. Because uh, people say I got heavy legs. <laughs> you got light legs. You're light in the low. Because I could, this could really be a fucking workout, your legs. Because your legs are attached to your butt, so that's a lot of weight. Here, go talk. Let's see how long I can hold in a, in a plank like this. Go, yeah, just talk go. through the episode. Me too. We'll see how long we can go. So Von Braun, uh, he was he was uh, the leader. And he was called the Rocket Man because he developed the V2, basically, yeah. for Nazi Germany. Not to be confused with V8, which is tomato Not juice. to be confused with Venetia or V for Vendetta. No, or Vidal Sassoon, which is the, the moose I use. <laughs> yeah. So what happened is he became the head of the NASA. He was the head of NASA. He became... The actual NASA or Nazi NASA? No, NASA. But he was a Nazi head of NASA. But whenever he would do a press did conference... they do a Nazi NASA? Did yeah. they do the same things regular NASA was doing, except they just tried to fucking slingshot Jews to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> so did he become the head of nasa he was the head of he didn't he was yeah he was he, the he, national aeronautics and space administration which is now space force yeah and you know what's actually interesting is Not one though. of the other scientists also was working on a uh project when he was a nazi keep higher that doesn't count uh when he was a nazi um you for, feel for it in your fucking iliothoas your hip flexors for a you vaccine feel it good in your lower abs he was working on a project for a vaccine which sounds benign but the reason why he was working on the program for vaccine is because the nazis were using biochemical warfare and everybody else and they wanted to make sure their soldiers were immune to the bio warfare that now the chinese have the nazis put into play the meth the entire time let's be crystal fucking clear yeah let's just hope that the future war isn't bought no, you went too low you not I, i've been up here over you going like this takes the pressure off because I've, I've had no pressure networks oh no that's the other part <laughs> um, um so so in a secret Army Navy project to launch an Earth satellite project orbiter. The situation was changed by the launching of Sputnik. Oh, this is the Russians. So what happened is the Rus Russians launched, launched Sputnik and, uh, in 1957, and that really put the pressure on the Americans because they were like, yo, we got that fucking satellite into space, baby. So the Americans were like, we got to do something. So then they said, we got to go to fucking Nazi Germany and get these scientists. Yeah, it was really a race for technology, and the, the main... The main hero in this story, not hero, the main, the protagonist I'd of this story is <laughs> Werner, <laughs> Werner Some of Van Braun. Work. Werner, I'm kidding. <laughs> Werner Von Braun. Uh, Who's, oh, I'm Saturn, just come out and say it, it's my grandfather. The first launch to the moon was <laughs> Saturn 1B. 
was the first launch to the moon, and it happened at the JFK Space Center in Florida. in Florida. Yeah, and he was transferred to NASA headquarters. Not to be confused with Saturn, and not and they're talking about Saturn the planet, not Saturn the car company. So he was never the head of, he was he- never the head of NASA, but he was the I, deputy uh, associate administrator for planning, and he resigned from the agency Nazi. in 1972 so he could go home and shine his Nazi medals. It's what it is. The so, fuck. So he's a Nazi, and and um, to justify, an attempt to justify his involvement in the development of the German V-2 rocket, Braun stated that patriotic motives outweighed whatever qualms he had about the moral implications of his nation's policies under Hitler. He also emphasized the innate impartiality, impartiality, <laughs> Of scientific research, which is it's in itself, he said, has no moral dimensions until its products are put to use by the large society. So that's interesting because I read a book. I've talked about this on the podcast before, the Nazi symbiosis, but just to refresh, that kind of stated that the allies, they think, because everyone thinks, oh, the concentration camps were discovered. There was rumors of them and the concentration camps were discovered by General MacArthur when he walked into, he, they were, they had liberated um, all these towns and they were walking through, I think it was... Dachau? No, Dachau was Buchenwald. Buchenwald was the first one that they saw. What what country is Buchenwald in? It might have been Belgium, because it was right after Battle of the Bulge. When they won Battle of the Bulge, Patton and his troops are moving forward through Europe, and they walk in there, walking through to get to the next big city, and they see this town in the middle of nowhere that's factories and in like the middle like nothing for hundreds of for miles all around they're like what is this they thought it was some kind of trap at first they waited outside and then as they start to walk in they realize nobody is there and then they found twenty thousand uh survivors in the camp all emaciated they liberated them so all the all the horrible things that had gone on the ovens and the and the killing chambers and then Patton went to the nearest town and rounded up as many Nazis as he could and all the German people and made them walk into that concentration camp and look at all of them yeah. and go through it and yeah, smell yeah, it. Yeah. He made it do he made them do all that. And then yeah. he killed all the German officials. Yeah. So Patton, so but but so a lot of people think that's when the first time anybody had heard of the concentration camps. But allegedly, according to this book, a lot of the Allied leaders had heard of these concentration camps, but didn't intervene because they were yielding scientific research that the Americans thought they could use and the British thought they could use. So again, nobody's innocent. Also, uh, we'll do an episode on post World War II, which is wild. Which is wild because everyone just thinks it was like a clean break, like when you take no. a shit and it's just like you don't have to wipe. But um, <laughs> which is a good shit. Which Johnny's been taking great shits. I've seen pictures of him from some of our doctor friends. Yes, and uh, but that's not what happened. Germans got fucked up. They were Regular killed. Left civilians, and right. wherever they were, they were forced to move. Mm-hmm. They were. There was retribution that happened on Germans. Anger was taken out on normal Germans. Right. They got fucked up. There was atrocities that happened against was bad. Germans afterwards. It was a really messy period. Yes. Where you were guilty. If you were born German, you were guilty. Yeah. If you're born German, you're guilty. And you're still guilty. now a little bit. You you're know? still a little guilty. Still a little. And my, was mother, a- my mother always kind of thought, if my mother knew that I was friends with you, yeah. Thank God she's got Alzheimer's because if she knew I was friends with a German, yeah. to be honest with you, it, something about it just wouldn't sit well with her. Because because I because I'm so obsessed with you, there's been multiple times where I went and visited your mother and just obs- told her I was you. Yeah, you're not obsessed with me at all. You're not obsessed with anybody. Yeah, I'm obsessed with one person. The one baby. Person. The baby. Well, not if she doesn't clean her fucking room. Clean your room. Clean your room. Oh, stop here. Are we still? Oh, you, oh, you saying we're going to Patreon names? Yes, it's time. How long have we did just now? Wow, it's time. Wow. So that's Operation Paperclip. There's also a great book by a woman uh, that Venetia will tell us the name of that you can get about. Op- it's called Operation Paperclip. We should just plug it. So if people want to read it, I mean, I think she was on Rogan talking about it. She really did a lot of research. Her name is Annie Jacobson, and the the, the book is called... Sounds like she has nice natties. Operation... <laughs> oh, and she does. Op- that's not her. Oh, that is that's a famous newscaster. Oh, uh, who's that? Yeah, she's from PBS. There she is. Oh, it's Giannis with the wig on. <laughs> <laughs> so Amy Jacobson, uh, the uh. the book is called Operation Paperclip, um, and uh, it came out what six, seven, eight years ago. So uh, it's and very it's, fascinating. Uh, fa- very fascinating. Because you have to start because because it gets to the point. Like it, it's just an interesting thing. I think for all the social awareness now is why things are getting canceled and products are being taken away like you can't no goya because trump did it or you know 
you can't wear this anymore because, you know, fucking they're racist or they don't, you know, the Chick-fil-A don't eat it because they don't support gay rights and all these things that people are like, yeah, but then you fucking, you lo- you wear your NASA t-shirts, you want to fucking go, you know, to the moon, you know, all you, you drive your Mercedes Benz, you wear Hugo Boss suits. So there's just a lot of bullshit. It's everybody's picks and chooses their outrage. And this is another example of, well, what's, why is the outrage against NASA? Well, this Should is, there be? And this is adult history. This is like being an adult. So this yeah. happened, and then America's in this position. What do you do? I want to get do you. Do you not utilize the brilliance of these scientists because they were affiliated because with the Nazis? Fucking, you know, had a couple of do you Do you let the Soviets get control of them and, and use them, or do you take them and use them? So I guess a lot of you uh, young kids would go, put them in all in jail. and then, But you know what? They ended up getting us to the moon. So it's like- Allegedly. It's not, this is not a pure world, okay? There's viruses flat world. and bacteria trying to kill you the moment that you are born. There's viruses and bacteria trying to kill you. If not for your immune system, we'd all be dead. Nobody yeah. dies of AIDS. They die because AIDS kills your immune system. So yes. you got to fight every second that you're here, okay? But most of the fight in the modern world today, because we've made it so comfortable, is within. So you got to get Eastern. You got to do yoga. You got to be friendly with your present. You got to read Eckhart Tolle. Yes. And you got to move to Massapequa. It's what you have to do. And you got to have clonopins. And you got to have clonies just to help take the edge off. Yeah, a lot of people would say, you know, put a pin in it. I say put a clonopin in it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Yeah, okay, so this is the New Year's episode. Do you guys want to just... Because any... you're talking through your Bane mask. I am. Any Take favorite... back the city. Yeah. It's yours. Whoa. Any favorite moments of the year you can Favorite remember? moments of the year? Yeah, favorite. Oh, this is, let's this see. is the last episode of the year? Wow. Let's, well, not, well, let's see. What's the favorite moments of the year? I guess I got David Farage Suarez. Uh, Wei Zhong Zhan. <laughs> I'm kidding, Mike. Mike, I'm kidding. I fucking love Mike Suarez. Mike Suarez is a great I had. I was the one that had to do it. Yeah, I mean, we, we like what Mike Suarez. It was Venetia that hated him. <sighs> we know you were it's on that joke. Reddit, Mike. It's we know you were on that Reddit. It's a joke. <laughs> no, 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 we love you, Mike. We're no. just kidding. Actually, he shout knows. out to Mike Suarez. Go follow at yeah. Mike V. Suarez on everywhere, social medias. Guys, fucking great. Did so much great work for this podcast. Unbelievable. And we miss you, Mike. And when we go back on the road, you will be a part of it. We promise. And Mikey, I love you to death. Sorry I changed the passwords once we let you go. I just couldn't He's risk Greek. it. Yeah. I mean, do, do, you don't know what I got to deal with with these Greeks. I mean, they'll send packages to every other place because they think people are going to steal the fucking packages <laughs> in the hallways. I mean, it doesn't happen. We live in Bay Ridge. This is Trump Town. Yeah. We're not going to steal anything. Well, no, Unless, they, they stole two of ours here. So it's just what happened. Yeah, but already. it's what it is. Yeah, yeah but that's yeah. because the fucking the protest is here but i do give you credit you're you're a trusting believing guy and it's less stressed that way i give yeah, you credit it's less stressed. but i you, got a pencil in my ass but you also have high blood pressure so the universe is just hilarious because you're one of the most easygoing relaxed guys but you have high blood pressure yeah, you i'm can't paranoid and stupid and my blood pressure is fucking textbook it's what it is yeah the universe is just a weird place that's balanced shout out to paulie who told me that years ago the universe is balanced and he told me that justin timberlake must got he must have a, a pinky dick he must have a pinky dick shout he's got out so many other talents shout out to the stand comedy club yes. joey rose's sandwich shop some of the best sandwiches i ever had um, go out there to the stand. Uh, who knows if it's going to make it? I mean, Governor Cuomo said you can't even do fucking piss inside a restaurant. I now. mean, the kid's doing everything. He's got a fucking podcast network with Chrissy and fucking Sal. He's making sandwiches over there, and it's, and he's probably also still taking Kalani's. That's a kid who likes Kalani's. What can you do? What can you do? I love Joey D. Um, one of my favorite moments of the year. I mean, when you're you, this is before you're going you're going before the year now. That's 2019. James Wilk. Wow. That was January 2020. That was the beginning, right? March. That was, that was like in February. We can go through them all. I mean, James Wilk episode I loved. I think that was a time where Chrissy wasn't as comfortable with, just, uh, with guests. And Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy gave him Chrissy. Can we watch a clip of that? Yeah. I don't even and remember what I said. You just kind of went at the guy. Did he like it or was he not comfy? He wumpy? just was not feeling it. What is it? Human cocaine? Yeah, Let's listen ha- to it. Oh, plant, this is plant, PBC, plant-based Chrissy. Plant-based? Because he's got cauliflower ear. Your <laughs> cute, nice complexion. Cuz, let me make, make no mistake, and you fucking are a fighter. You will get kissed on the lips. I physically the love with men. I have sex with women. Yeah. So if that's gay, then put your meat in my mouth. <laughs> Here's what happens when you're on plants, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I call you a vegan, is that like a slur? Because I, because... 
I don't want to be like, hey, you fucking vegan, because I'm telling yeah, you to support yeah. it. Yeah. But are you a vegan, or are you, are you, a, are you just a PBC a plant-based kid? <laughs> <laughs> he used to put on his mother's uh, fishnet stockings when he was a kid. So, but that's got nothing to do with plants. It was a formative time. Yeah, it was a formative time. <laughs> um, uh, we came in strong on the kid. Great laugher. Well, if we were to go out for dinner, what, where, where, where was you know what it was? And what would we have? He didn't know what he was like walking into. Yeah. I never plugged like the brand. Like, whatever. He's like, you know what? This kid trains the Israeli military. Terry. He's I look thinner there. I look the same. You look the same. I mean, you are a woman to ask that question. Yeah, okay. So look, that was my favorite. That was fun because we we kind of came real hard history hyenas at yes. him. And he had he just walked in from a oh. rolling suggestion, so he had no idea. He thought Chris was being serious that he was gay because at one point he goes, I, "I don't know." He goes, "I don't know. Are you gay?" He didn't want to laugh because he didn't want to laugh at someone who was actually gay. Was the episode about Philadelphia and Harriet Tubman in twenty twenty? Uh, that was that was early. That, that was, was twenty nineteen. What about Frank Rizzo? Frank Rizzo's early. That's a that's sure. a classic. Do you guys okay. remember when uh, Chris fell asleep on air? Yes, yes, that was this summer. Yeah, that was this summer. Yeah, that's I also what... had a rib injury. <laughs> I, I think it was on a WEPA. For anyone who wants to check it out, oh, that was on a WEPA. Yes, yeah, so we didn't it post that. Yeah, you. And I think you might have got hit that night, right? Uh yeah. It either happened or was about to happen. Yeah, uh, that was, uh, I may have just been losing consciousness. Look, WEPA, WEPA, fuck boy, has been a great memory. Um, from 2019, we started out with Mike Suarez, and then you picked it up. You've learned probably so much because we're the first podcast you really produced. Yeah, and yeah. And, and I'm gonna make sure the only one. <laughs> so and whatever it takes. So um, you you learned real quick, picked it up, and we all four of us just took off. We started Wepa. It was a lot of fun. We danced yeah. in the morning, and we had a good time, and we really uplifted a lot of people's spirits during. Uh, you know, the first pandemic, when, yeah. uh, first quarantine during the pandemic. I think So that's a good moment. Your funniest moments were on WEPA this year. I mean, when Chris got hit with the cinnamon bun. Yes. yes. Chris got so, hit with the cinnamon some bun. Some of the WEPA mornings. What about like the... the oh, our Bill Burr episodes. Bill I mean, Burr episode. <laughs> talk what about, about the, fucking a beatdown. I mean, I took a beatdown for everyone. What about the very first quarantine episode we ever did when I pulled out the, the baby's bottle? I said, this is Squeak was here. I squeak was here. <laughs> yeah. The first, <laughs> and then I actually, said, the first quarantine episode we did was one of our biggest episodes. It was completely insane. we did insane. it from our phones, and it was, there it is, there it is, if you go is up Is that a the very bit, first one? No, if you go, yeah, that's it. That was the first. Let me ask you a question. I converted to Republicanism last week. Do you think that that patriotism from that gives me an extra layer of force this field around me? I think there's two things and two things only that protect you from this coronavirus. One is the mask. Two is draping yourself in the American flag. I don't, there's no way that that fucking virus can get through stars and stripes. Yeah, I mean, because I, I live in an area now where I went to the supermarket and there was two things missing. You want to know what those two things were? What? Toilet papers and American flags. That was, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the first episode. That was when the quarantine started. Hijab right or hijab? What is that about? <laughs> Let's listen to this. Yeah. I mean, this is just shit. I don't know. We may just continuously do this podcast with Hajibs and then just go full muzzy for the rest of our yeah, lives. we're just going to have to do that. Hajabs. I keep saying Hajibs. It's, it sounds, that's, you have an aggressive... It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's tomato, a, tomato. It's a hijab is what the women wear, and it's a hajib is that fuck who gave me a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we still had Zach Isis. Was that 2020? No, no, because Zach Isis... Oh, yeah, because there. we could make those jokes because we had a muzzy in the room, yeah, but now he, we can't. And he put the bomb on. Yeah, it's go what up, it is. Let's see some more. Uh, we had some great ladder 14s. Um, G.I. Joe. Joe. Oh, this one we... Yeah. Um, we had some... Uh, uh, I, I, we, uh, we had Andrew Schultz on again in 2020, right? No. We needed to. Is this when that Mike Suarez yelled at Andrew Schultz? Yeah. yeah. That was wow. a weird moment. That's when things That's me like, shooting a gun, which I don't remember. Yeah. Wait, go up higher. This is 2019, because my dad was... My dad, this is right around when my dad died. When? Like January, February. So, uh, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Is this right January before? January 25th. Wow. It just lets you know how fast, it lets you know how quick things blow up because Schultz, this was, uh, this was uh, less than a year ago. And look at Schultz now. Yeah. Same thing with Timmy Dillon. I mean, it happens fast. Schultz man. would just send one of his robots to do the podcast now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he would it, send a hologram of himself. It happens really fast, man. And uh, let's keep going up. So we'll keep going up. Yeah, this is fun to look back at. Yeah. And, you know, guys, go, tell us right on, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, right in the community board. Tell us what you think your favorite episode was. We love hearing that because it only helps us make 2021 better to know what you guys like. Yeah, let's take a peek at that web in the morning. Let's see what, what happened there. I, I would, would figure on a gay cruise, they would have a doctor on call. 
for people who had foreign objects stuck in holes. I felt like neither yeah, one of yeah. you got I wish that, that job. That was the problem because yeah. I put so many Gays things put in my things holes. Up their ass. Yeah. Right. But I don't know. I, that, right, they, Binky? they always came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. Thank God. Right. Yeah. They always came out of me, so I didn't have to work. What was the craziest thing you've ever put in your hole? In my asshole, I, I put, put a, a GI Joe figure. Oh yeah, yeah. you yeah. did too. Yeah, GI Joe. Yeah. Fucking meant to be. You guys <laughs> both put a GI Joe in. Yeah, we did it together in the same bathtub. I would, I would run around with him hanging out. My friends would laugh. Yeah. yeah, that is. That's yeah. true. Actually, what he's Jessica doing. Kirsten is one of the funniest comedians in the world. She's hilarious. She's so funny. If you just watch her Instagram and stuff, go follow Jessica Kirsten on Instagram. She's just like so unbelievably funny. Yeah, she is hilarious, and that's actually true. I used to put the arm in my ass and run around to yeah. make my friends laugh. Yeah, and true story. By the way, guys, we have a uh, best of weapon this year coming to the clips page. Wow, I mean, Binky, fucking Binky. By the way, yeah, I guess, I, we thought that we absolutely crushed it on Manscaped, and we never got another ad from them again. So yeah, I guess we did it. Yeah. What so why happened? did you guys just use the promo code? Yeah. What the fuck happened? Oh, this is um, Baby Gorgeous, and oh, this is. The original. Yeah. Lieutenant Lollipop. Let's see. This is the original when Baby Gorge this summer. Lieutenant Lollipop. I haven't seen you. <laughs> this was quarantine, right? After yeah. First time back. I got lightheaded. I'm about to pass out. Yeah. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Lollipop. Lollipop. Did that cut? Did, did, yeah. did you prepare that or it came no, out? No, it just came out. Is that a good one? It's a good one. Yeah. That's when I started getting fat. Lieutenant Lollipop. That's the next t-shirt. <laughs> Do you think at the edges of Tiananmen Square there are people selling their DVDs for $5? I think it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. The soldiers left. The soldiers went against some of the general's orders or whatever they call them in the general. They went against General Sow's orders and they and they general went, they, general General Sow's yeah General Sow's yeah. and they left. Am this I is Binky's to say first that? episode? Kidding. Yeah, because your is this feet your first are episode? atrocious. Yeah. They're atrocious because and I got I have a deformity on my heel now, a thing on this my heel, and it's the four set. women who, have, who wear high heel shoes. Twenty-seven weeks Binky's been with us. That's yeah. it. That and they said it usually only happens with women who wear high heels because my foot is shaped like a high heel. <laughs> Can you not put your toes down? Let's yeah. look at the, uh, let's, uh, oh, here's the, let's Oh, and here's the origin, origi origination of Work It Girl. All these things that feel like they've been a part of it, at least on our end for years, this was only 25 weeks ago. Yeah. Between President of the United States is RuPaul. I want RuPaul Were to Were you allowed to say that while your dad's still alive? Because, because it's, I know. Well, yeah. He, I mean, you well, going live. Did you just put him in the grave? I mean, I was with him yesterday in Father's, uh, for Father's Day. He's on the runway. <laughs> so. Go ahead. That's the first Work It Girl. Right? Yes. Would you jerk it to RuPaul? Uh, As a guy. <laughs> you mean would I jerk it to RuPaul again? Yeah. Because I already have, cuz. I mean, I've been alive since 84. Cuz being gay is fucking... Yeah, it's li fucking fun! Here's the thing. If you're gay, you're lucky. You're liberated. You're liberated from these fucking straight... Oh, I Goddamn limits. Fucking this is when I thought I had really to talk no, into I mean, the my camera. My hair's moving again. Yeah, your hair's fucking moving. That's how I know you're Chrissy Chaos. Because since quarantine, it's... I mean, Chrissy I'm fucking wild. I got back with my baby's mama. Chrissy Chaos is out to play. <laughs> I got my house on the market. It's a stupid move. That was a fun moment. That was uh, then started, and then look at the first conspiracy cuties yeah, ever. Gisely Maxwell. Yeah, did those really connect? Did people like those? Well, we stopped doing them. Yeah. yeah. We'll do them again. You know how we do. Yeah. Dollars to people like Prince Andrew, Bill. Clinton, some say Alan Dershowitz, a very prominent lawyer, blackmailing them by putting them and in And we shouldn't call it blackmail anymore. Right. It uh, shouldn't be called blackmail. It should be called whitemailing white them because it's yeah. bad. <laughs> it's also, actually, Morgan Freeman, didn't he get... Morgan Freeman... His he got he got accused of molesting someone. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, it's all dude. I'm dude. It's all connected, dude. And you can't look that up, Benetia. Because and Morgan Freeman, there's no way he's a real person. Because Morgan Freeman's a black guy with freckles. They don't exist. That does not exist. Yeah. It's not true. The kid is an AI. He's a bot, and he could have been a bot that was created by an international, high level, right. secret society. We got to we get to the bottom of it. You got to admit we get to the bottom. We get of to it. the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah. on so, conspiracy cuties. And by the way, Xbox Series X. We have an Xbox Series X. All you have to do is prove to us that you've uh, told you've uh, here, what is it again? Xbox Series X. We have an Xbox Series X. We want to give away for free to our fans. All you have to do is subscribe to both of our History and YouTube channels, the main page and the clips page. Screenshot that. Prove it to us and share a favorite app or clip with a friend. That's all you got to do with the hashtag. HH giveaway, HH giveaway, and then on January 20th, we're going to announce the winner of that Xbox Series X the day, you know, the music died when Trump left office and Biden became president. We're going to give you an Xbox Series X to get you through that time. You get an Xbox. You get an Xbox. And I just want to say this again. It's really important. All it takes is for you guys to be proactive and posting your stories about history, Ienas. 
and tell your friends personally when they ask for podcast recommendations. That's really the key. That's how we keep getting bigger. That's the only way. So thank you to everybody who posts in their stories, reposts, tweets, um, and tells friends because that's you. all you got to do. Go over to our uh, iTunes. Please leave a nice review. Give us five stars. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, if you don't already follow us on Instagram, we're always posting content on there. Most importantly, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for all the bonus content we have. Yes. Just want to say a, 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 a great year. Um, you know, thank you, guys, thank you guys for holding me up when I was... I had a baby, and you held me down, Chrissy. Thank you. And yes. the team held me, Binky and Venetia. Yeah. We held it down while, while Venetia was in Greece for six months. So thank yeah. us. We, we had to get Venetia through her vacation. We had to get her through her vacation. Um, and yeah. And, and, and thank get homeless. And, th and, and we got... We got Benetia through her vacation. Yeah. We got you through COVID and we got Pimp away from Nate. We did three great things. We did three, <laughs> three great things. The best team. We got the best team. We got the best podcast. Our fans know it and everybody's going to know it soon. 2021, according to Binky, is when, is when the, uh, is when the Ponzer, what do they call those? The, the Ponzer Chocolat. No, what do they call those? The Ponzers? The, uh, the, the Ponzer Schemes? tanks calls? The tanks are called Ponzer... What what do you mean? I'm, those the Nazi are, the Nazi gym it's tanks. A, it's a bad analogy, but I'm saying we're rolling it. Oh yeah, the Panzer unit. Yeah, the Panzers, but I yeah. I shouldn't have did it because those are Nazi tanks. Yeah, but the technology was good, and it might have well, been look, built. It might have been built by American scientists. It's what it is. Look, <laughs> last year last year was the year of the bat. 2020 2021 is the year of the hyena. It's the year of the hyena or the jackal. If you look at our logo. Oh yeah, look at the logo. Let's read some Patreon names. The, as always, the newest members of the matriarchy who went to Patreon.com/slash. Bay Ridge Boys, we read out their names. Uh, uh, we encourage you guys to do a funny name at PPW. Uh, we give them a P their PPW, the pseudo penis of the week. Um, let me get them here real quick. So Yanni, the truth is, is like we I can read them off the screen because Yanni can't see the screen. No, anyway. I can't see the screen anyway. <laughs> but guys, if you do, when you join, give us a funny name. If you don't, you go straight to the back with a regular name. But this is a fun game for everyone. You guys always stun us with how funny you are. It never ceases to amaze. Let's rock. Let me just get to it. So where am I starting, honey? And also, while he finds it, I just want to what? say happy Hanukkah to all the Greeks. We represent uh, the Jews. Um, we also are supposed to have two I Love Allah mugs here. We don't. We are totally love everybody. We're international. Yeah. We're also two kids that happen to be from Somalia. So don't fucking come and try to put us on notice. On notice. We're safe. We're fucking safe. And here's a dreidel. Okay, welcome to the matriarchy. Starting off, ain't got laid in 19 months. So that goes straight onto a Drexler. That's a solid Drexler. You know what? The fans say I'm pretty accurate. Yeah. Then num <laughs> next up, we got Mac 2 antihistamines, and I've got a situation with your brother, Patton. <laughs> Put him on the list. Philip Constantino. Philip Constantino's a good Italian kid. He just goes on the list by, you, with your names that Italian, you just go on the list because. We should just have an Italian list because they're all funny. Uh, Julian Rojas. Then we got Alex, Oingo, Boingo, Eastern Hemis, Make Me Go, Pioingo, Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny Irish kids going on the list, of course. Alex Vogel, Azaz C, huge, huge reaction. Oh, huge erection. Oh, huge <laughs> erection. Hugh, the name Hugh, H U G H G, erection. I mean, on the list. <laughs> okay. You know, you, you were so funny, you got a bad read, and you still got on the list. Here we go. Fumario and Gluigi, no toots, level up that pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fumario and Gluigi. I laughed and farted, so that goes on the list. <laughs> you laugh and fart. <laughs> you get a little L and F, you get on the list. Yeah. I farted with that. Jacob Bogus, Jack Bailey. Then we got Anthony, going to turn ISIS into was, was, Hernandez. Oh, going to turn ISIS, meaning is, is, into was, was, Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one i mean this we're coming is this the final patreon list of the year yeah it's wow. just it's these kids on the came. list on the list yeah obviously laura morea white taker james laura little johnny jewel yolario sanchez then we got austin suck the schnitzel or get the fume spearman <laughs> Uh, it's a Drexler. It's Schnitzel's close. funny. Yeah, Calling it's your close. Schnitzel's funny. I mean, it's just a tough list today. I mean, German food sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's really bad. It's Frankfurters and sauerkraut. Adam Wietrich, KM. Then we got Brett Thornall. Then we got Letty, a.k.a. the Five Foot Nothing Squeak, a.k.a. Joan of Arc was a transgender piece. <laughs> <laughs> list? list? If you laugh and cough or laugh and fart, you get on the list. List. 
Alex Schneider, Hunter, Scott Robertson, Luke Marquis, RBC, Smoking Joe Biden, Skeeler. Then we got Pastor Billy tickled my willy. Now it aches. Oh, sorry. It's Pastor Billy tickled my willy. Now it takes pillies to feel silly. Give me your show or I'm going to come see you in a different way. Oh, now I take pillies to feel silly. Nice. It's one of those ones that, you sorry. know, it's just, it's too long. It's Dommy B. Tell Venny T that my piece is close to a three. JK, it's Joey B, and I'm voting for Donnie T. I can throw him on the list. Yeah, throw he said his list. piece is close yeah. to a three. Yeah, so Yeah, he said tell, tell Venny T <laughs> that my piece is close to three. Just kidding, I'm voting for Donnie T. Yeah. Yeah, so throw yeah. him on the list. Yeah, we that's got a contender. Emmanuel Bronco, yeah. Tom Handelden. Then we got Kyle, I want to get lost in Chrissy's German asshole, Harrington. <laughs> 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 just funny but it's a Drexler it's Drexler yeah. yeah Kevin Allen then we got Sama Lama Ding Dong Argo Fuck Yourself okay, okay. then we got Ike Yanni's My Poppy and My Mother Was a Goat Barba <laughs> Drexler funny Drexlers uh, make no mistake Kanye 2020 then we got Nick make no mistake my last name has become a real problem Epstein <laughs> Drexler. His name's Nick Epstein. Yeah, Drexler, yeah. Drexler. It's funny though. Then we got Don Dick Lover, um, Damian Sabatino. Then we got it puts the Wait, baby. Dom Dick Lover gets a Drexler for a nice chicken finger. Okay. Yeah. Then we got it puts the baby powder on its fume or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> list? A list. This is yeah. a tough one. Yeah, this is a tough one. A lot of those Drexlers could have been on the list too. Then we got John Man Savage, Bridget Cunningham. Then we got Bill Burr going to wepa you with the Chancleta at Avenue B, Banco Popular. <laughs> Nate Morris, Valerie Wright. Then we got Dr. Simeon's Abortion Clinic and Pizzeria. No fetus can beat us. Your loss is our sauce. <laughs> it's just... It's too good. It's I mean, tough. It's, it's horrible, go, but I mean... That goes on the list. Yeah, it's on the list. Yeah. yeah. GWC67, Big ups. <laughs> then we got Michelle Grimaldo, Jennifer. Then we got Richard Gears Gerbil. It's what it is. We had we had, we had Richard, that guy already. Yeah, okay. we had Richard Gears Gerbil. Then we got Pablo Biggie, Katie, Jack Loman, Drew DeJong. Then we got Make No Mistake Foot. F Make No Mistake Foot Fetish Biden Vid was actually Tim. Yeah, hold on. He spelled fetish wrong. Make No Mistake Foot Fetish Biden Vid was actually Tim D and Crack Pipe Chrissy. Oh, okay. <coughs> Got it. Then we got Sarah. Hey, cuz, let me tell you something and put everyone on notice that Yanni P and Chrissy D make me cream when they scream yas. There we go. Gregory Henderson. Then we got Wapo Discardio La Big Ladiglio. Okay. Okay. Then we got Crack Me Open, Clean Me Out, Call Me Corn Pop for four more years, Eslo KS. Josh Laird, Giovanni Miranda, Hunter Rolf, Christian Frederick Brestrup. Then we got Nolan. My last name is Wilson, so you know I'm white. Uh, Stefan Arapaccio, Dominic Maginelli, Oron, I'm from Ireland and Catholic, so make no mistake, I've blacked out our confessions with Father Murphy McLaughlin. <laughs> Sounds like he's getting in touch with his history. Then we got nobody circles the altar boards like Father Bill, uh, Cody Peters, Eric Nelson, Erica Elliott, Sergeant Snuggles cracked me open and cleaned me out by Lieutenant Lollipop before the impending Civil War, uh, Trevor Snook, then we got help me bury my wife. <laughs> <laughs> On the list, chicken finger. Uh, kick my dick and lick my stink. 50-50 chance Shane Gillis has a slave. Wei Jong Jan. <laughs> Can't say it. <laughs> no, no, it's just... The slur, but yeah. It's, yeah. It's Nicholas great. DePina. Then we got Chunky Monkey, the cock licking cucky that'll sniff Chris's ass until we both get pink eye and see life in a different way. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Ashley Waltman. Ari, I took Asian and I work at the station, so the latter 14 guys make me clean the microwave with no explanation. Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Vandermeer. I knew what he's going for. Then we got had to put my grandma in a home because Chrissy gave her flashbacks to 1939. <laughs> Colsey sucks. Carson Quinn. Jason. Mommy Jean's here for the content. Uh, Joe Meddy. Chrissy D's lesbian knees. Uh, Aaron Reese's peanut butter piece, but make no mistake, I did not get it from my father, Medina. Mm -hmm. Cassie Spellman. Casey Spellman. Fumar Garcia Parra. They call me. Us, cause I do screwed in Long Island kid too. We had Fumar Garcia. Yeah, <laughs> Wes, Wes, Sean Marin, Rob. Um, then we got Orlando Fume, and last but not least, last but not least, Chrissy is a deep down fruit because Father Bill gobbled his skin flute when he was an altar toot. <laughs> altar toot's funny. Altar toot's funny, but I got it. Just the the, the beginning. Let's read. Let's skin read. Flutes can't do it anymore. Okay, so here we go. So in in red are the contenders, right? Okay. Yeah. Mac, so contender number one, Mac two antihistamines, and I've got a situation with your brother Patton. 
<laughs> Alex Oingo Boingo Eastern Hemis make me go Pioingo Murphy. Yeah, two goodies. Huge erection. That's, Huge erection. Yeah, that's probably uh, that's a chi- that's a, that's one of the best chicken figures we've ever had. Then we got Fumario and Luigi. No toots. Level up that PP. It's a goodie, but not as good as you. Anthony going to turn Isis into Was Was Hernandez. That's another contender right there. That could be it. Then we got uh, Letty, a.k.a. the five foot nothing squeak, a.k.a. Joan of Arc, was a transgender piece. It's a goodie, but it, 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 it's fallen off the list. Then we got It's Dami B, Tell Vaney T, that my piece is close to a three. JK, it's Joey B, and I'm voting for Donnie T. I mean, that's, I think, the winner. Well, yeah. here are these last two. Yeah. It puts the baby powder on its fumes, or else it gets the hose again. Funny. <laughs> that one. And then yeah. last but not least, Dr. Simeon's abortion clinic and pizzeria. No fetus can beat us. Your losses are sauce. Okay, so it's between that one That's and a tough one to deal with, Venny though. Venny T, but I voted for Donnie T. It's between I mean, those two. I mean, why don't two. we let Venny T decide the she's last not one? Gonna, she's been here the longest. What, let, just let her decide. But she's going to take. She's gonna go away from the Venny T one, which but is But then she funny. has to pick the abortion one. Yeah, so she's so got to pick. I like to put her in a pickle. <laughs> yeah, she's in a pickle. <laughs> You're in a pickle. Yeah. Which one I, is it? So which like- one between those two? Oh, I don't have a choice because I like the it puts the baby powder on the fumes or else it gets the hose again. That's okay. my favorite. <sighs> That's clearly not right. better than the other ones. <laughs> All right, but Venetia, the picket, we're fucking, you know. What do you, what do you Women are the future you? and we want to start a set of president in 2021. Thank you. What do you I mean? <laughs> I love huge arrest. Huge arrest. You like the chicken finger. Uh, okay, so we, we, wow, we got a total difference of opinion here. Chrissy, yeah. where are you at? <sighs> where am I at? Yeah. So I'm gonna. I already was I texting. You're, I, if I know your humor, you're, you're gonna go with Betty T. But I voted for. I told Betty T. that I got a three. Yeah. But I'm just J- JK. No, I'm no, because for I'm in a silly willy mood. Yeah. Because I took five CBD. Go to get THC. <laughs> fi- get five THC.com. I like Oingo Boingo because I Oingo Boingo makes me laugh. Holy <laughs> shit! This is a beautiful thing to happen at the end. The very last one. We got yeah. champagne problems. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to make the call then. You make the call because you've call. had a tough year. Because uh, Yeah, and also because I'm the boss of this, and usually I go with the I go with the. And you're the oldest. But since there's... No, yeah, I'm the oldest by a lot. So if there's not no... Not by con- that much. Not by that much. But if I do... If there's no consensus, I got to make the call. And I'm making the call, and the call goes to... Benny T. What is it? Say it again. You read it. Yeah. I don't want to read it. He's yeah. saying... It's Dami B. It's Do- First of all, Dami. Dami is funny. I'm um, Dami, Dami B. It's Dami B. Vanny T. That... I told... No. What is it? It's, it's Dami B. Tell, tell Vanny T. T. That my piece is close to three. Just kidding. It's Joey B. And I'm voting for Donnie T. <laughs> that's the winner so, winner. That's the winner. He pulled one over. And he wants you to know the truth. He doesn't have a three. And he's also voting to the read. To the right. So thank you guys so much. What a beautiful, beautiful year. Um, we'd like to close out the year by saying thank you so much. And obviously, would it be appropriate to go into 21, to going into 2020 with other, any other sound than this? See you next year. Sorry, you can deserve better. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, you shit your pants. What a way to go out. Because you shit your pants. Happy New Year, queer. <laughs> you shit your pants, I think. Well, what can you do? I do it for the fans. Patreon.com slash Bay Rich Boys. Happy New Year. Whatever you say. Fucking Donnie T. <laughs> <laughs>